Singing Gamer here, and I already got Shilonen, so now there's only one thing left to do, and that is the test runs. So, um, this is gonna be my first time jumping in to this test run, so I am gonna be going completely blind here. But, um, I did read all of her info right here, um, which is right here. Uh, she does support, um, a lot of elements, as you see here. Uh, Pyro Hydro, Cryo Electro. Um, you get one Geo Sample. Uh, when you get three, you get uh, increased um, like buffs, like Elemental Res decrease. She also gets a lot of stuff as well. Right here, she gets Defense Boost up the wazoo. She can get a lot of um, damage off of her um, Elemental skill, which is her Night Soul State. So yeah, um, she is going to be looking pretty, pretty uh, good in general. So um, I would say, uh, um, well, as for my uh, perception of her, I would say she's probably one of the best supporters in the game just because of how much she is able to bring to the table like um elemental res shred so um, anyways we're gonna be testing her out here so um we're gonna be seeing all of her things so let's switch to shilonen and let's uh do this so it looks like she does get a good um she does get a good jump boost too all right we're gonna be affecting um people with elements i see here um we have Yanfei, uh, Zhangling, Shilonen, and as you see here, we're going to be activating her um, elemental skill in a moment. I see there, yeah, you see we have two Pyros and one Hydro for our um, effect right there. So um, basically we do get a uh, elemental res shred boost um, when we do that. Um, we have to gain Night Soul points, of course. Um, by d doing that, uh, we do get the uh, boost. So let's see, um, we could do this right now. So we're going to be going for uh, Xing Cho. Let's go for Xiangling. Right there, we can affect them. All right, we're going to be doing some normals so we can get... Yeah, there you go. See there, now it's activated. So now we basically get um, the uh, Res Shred bonus right there. So now we can go into um, other characters right there. So yeah, um, looks like she is going to be pretty, pretty good. Especially if you are going to be um, using her to... Uh, uh, decrease elemental res. Uh, she's probably she is I think one of the few characters that could actually decrease res But it's for like a lot of party members, which is um really really good on a character like this um, All right We're gonna be seeing this one last time. So um, let's uh, get all of the Things here. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get some normals in there. We go. We activated it um, We can't go for her burst right there. All right, let's go. Let's see how much Zhang Ling does Look at that damage. Holy crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, she gets a lot of um, rest shred bonus. As long as we're able to activate the thing. Yeah, so you see there, we already activated it. So now we can just um, go here um, and then do some damage. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that damage. Um, by the way, they aren't really that fully built. 20,000 right there. Alright, uh, let's do it one more time. Let's get some Night Soul Burst in. We can get the... Um, burst right there and we can go into um, charge attacks so let's see how much this does 12,000 um, 4,000 it looks like it's, it is pretty consistent overall yeah this looks pretty pretty nice yeah all right so um that is Shilonen um right there we already showcased what her burst looks like so now I guess we can just showcase what her moveset is all right so um this is gonna be her first uh, normal attack, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. I think that's it. Yeah, one, two, three. I think that's all she gets. Yep, that's it. All right. Um, let's see her uh charge attack. Okay, she kicks. Pretty cool animation. Um, I like that. All right. Um, let's see her uh elemental skill. Right there, she goes into the Night Soul state. We can move around, we can dash as well. Um, let's see her normals. Um, they are, okay, so it's one, two, three, four. I think that's that's all of her normals. Yeah, it's a four hit combo normal. Um, that is like from her standard three. Okay, uh, we could test it out again. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a four hit combo, okay. Um, looks like we can uh, jump high too, which is pretty nice. Um, and I think that's pretty much it overall. Yeah, um, that's it for a Shilonen. Um, we can't go for a charge attack. Let's see what that looks like. But, um, yeah, there's no charge attack, it looks like. But, um, her Night Soul State, 
Um, she should just do normals, so that's basically it. All right. Let's go into her character info. All right, so she low Nen. Uh, let's see her uh, Hoyoverse build. So, yeah, they didn't give her that much quiver crit damage. She doesn't need it since um, she is going to be primarily a support. Um, energy recharge is definitely a way to go. Um, you do need energy recharge since you are going to be um, trying to get her burst most of the time. So, um, definitely worth it to get. Um, as for weapon, it looks like she does get peak patrol song. This is her best weapon. Gives her a lot of defense, elemental damage bonus, as well as even more elemental damage bonus as well for every 1,000 defense you have. Which is pretty, pretty nice overall. So yeah. Um, as for artifact set, she has Scroll of the Hero of Cinder City. This is her, definitely her best artifact set since she is going to be a support. Um, you are going to be getting a lot of elemental energy as well as increased elemental damage type bonus. And since she does decrease res of elemental uh, types, uh, this is perfect for her. So yeah. As for constellations right here, um, she is at C0 it looks like for uh, Hoyo's build. And as for talents right here, level 8 talents, okay. So, um, I guess we could just go over her talents and then we can go over her constellations. So, let's see here. So, um, her elemental skill, um, I already discussed about it before, but you have to do, uh, three samplers. It depends on what you have on the team. So, since, uh, the team, um, that Hoyo has is, uh, Xingqiu, Xiangling, and Yanfei, um, we have two Pyros and one Hydro. Uh, when we do her, uh, Night Soul state, and we do a normal attacks. Um, when you uh, complete the bar, it decreases the elemental res of the um, enemies. Uh, I think for a set amount of time, I'm pretty sure. So um, yeah, we can just look at it right here. Yeah, see, elemental res decrease at level eight is thirty percent, um, and it is around um, yeah fifteen seconds, which is pretty pretty nice overall. So yeah, um, she gets elemental res shred on elemental skill. Her elemental burst is mostly similar. Um, she does get source samples, which is pretty nice. So it means that um, she is able to combo into her elemental skill, which is pretty great. Um, she needs to have at least two source samples. Shouldn't be that hard to begin with. Um, yeah, it looks like she does uh, play a certain rhythm. Uh, so she can heal and she can do... Um, follow-up damage as well so yeah it depends on how much you have so she can either heal or she can do damage for you depending on how many uh, source samples you get which is pretty pretty nice so yeah as for her passive talents we could check we could just uh, take a look here so um looks like she gets 35 night soul points um pretty cool um and she also gets plunging and normal attack damage increase by looks like 30 percent uh, if you have two fewer sources so um, basically, it depends on how much source samples you have. Again, it's, all, it's based off her elemental skill. So, um, yep. So, um, if you have uh, less than 2, you get 35 Night Soul points. If you have more than 2, you get 30% damage increase. Um, if you have... Um, if you have, I guess you could say, 2 Pyros and then 1 other element, then you can um, basically get, like, 1 uh, source. If you have more than that, you can get um, more... Um, sources. So yeah, again, it really just depends on what you have on the team. So yeah. As for her other passive talent right here, it looks like she just gets a defense bonus, which is pretty good. So yeah, um, really, really, really cool that she does get a defense bonus. And all you need to do is trigger a Night Soul Burst, which is pretty nice. Um, this is the uh, Overworld Natlin talent right here. She just gets um, a lot of stuff. Um, she also gets to switch into her um, Night soul so which is pretty great and then it looks like her pa or of their passive talent um she just gets to restore 15 the felicigen which is pretty pretty great so yeah um overall looks like she is pretty good i'm um, until res shred defense as well she gets to heal um if you want you can make her a main dps or a sub dps if you want yeah she's she's just really great in general um i would say she is equal to kazuha yeah, I would say so. She's equal to Kazuha in terms of support. Because for Kazuha, he increases the elemental damage of the swirl, as well as um, decrease elemental damage as well, um, or elemental damage resistance for those enemies. It's the same thing with Shilonen. Her artifact set just increases the damage of elemental types. Um, she gets elemental res shred on elemental skill. She can heal as well um, for added extra support. 
Um, and she also gets increased um, damage and defense, which is pretty great. So yeah, I would say she's pretty equal to Kazuha. All right, let's look at her uh, constellations. Um, constellations just make characters really good. I'm just curious to see what she low ends constellations is, since um sh since she is already broken enough. Let's see how broken she can get. All right, so she low ends night soul point and flucidin consumption in her night soul blessing state is decreased by thirty percent. Okay, this means that she just gets to stay on it longer. Okay, and her night soul point time limit is extended by forty five percent. Additionally, when she low ends source samples are active, she can also increase nearby active characters interruption resistance that's so good so she gives characters interruption resistance if you have the source samples active that's that's busted that's super busted um you're gonna be triggering this a lot and the fact that you can stay in your night soul state means that yeah you're just gonna be in there forever yeah um this means that it's great for exploration as well as great for combat because you get interruption resistance for all your characters. That's broken. Okay. Next, let's move on. Alright. Uh, Shilonen's Geo Source Samples will also will always remain active. Okay. Additionally, when her source samples activate, all nearby party members will gain effects corresponding to the active source sample that matches their elemental type. Oh, she gets additional buffs for source samples. Okay. So it says that her geo source samples will always be active. This means that you're 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 gonna get fifty percent damage dealt, guaranteed. Fifty percent damage dealt, guaranteed. Yeah, fifty percent damage. If you have pyro on your team, you get forty five percent attack. If you have hydro on your team, you get max forty five percent HP. If you have cryo on your team, you get sixty percent dam uh, crit damage. If you have electro, you restore twenty five energy and decrease the cooldown of your elemental burst by six seconds. Okay, well, this constellation makes her one of the best supports in the game, if not the best support. I will say it right now. She is busted. Absolutely busted. So, um, if you guys don't know, remember, all of her source samples depend on what you have on your team. Remember, if you have, um, Pyro or Hydro or two elemental types, you have two source samples. If you have three elemental types, you have three source samples. With this constellation, right here, you don't get it, it's it, you get all of this, all of these buffs, uh, thanks to her uh, her talent, her, her her broken talent. Yeah, um, it is it is extremely, extremely, extremely good. Um, so this means that um, not only is your geo a sampler not converted into a uh, elemental type. You get this guaranteed, which means that on top of um, all of these buffs, the Pyro, Hydro, Cryo, Electro, you get the guaranteed 50% damage dealt. Enough said. That's broken. Alright, so Constellation level 3 just increases the... I think that's Elemental Skill? Yeah, Elemental Skill by 3 levels. Uh, C4, let's see. Uh, after Shilin uses uh, Yohal Scratch, I think that's her burst. Is that her burst or her... No, it's her elemental skill. Okay. She will grant all nearby party members the Blooming Blessing effect for 15 seconds. Characters with Blooming Blessing deal 65% of Shilonen's defense as increased normal charge and plunging attack damage. Busted. This effect will be removed after triggering six times or when the duration ends. When you hit more than one opponent, trigger counts will be consumed based on the number of opponents hit. The counts for each... Party member with blooming blessings are count independently. This means that, uh, well, you just do more damage. And since Shilonen's gonna be having high defense anyway, because, well, as you hear, her weapon's literally base defense. Yeah. So, not only are you getting high defense, but you're also getting more damage based off your defense. Again, busted. Uh, C5, it looks like it just increases her burst by three levels. C6, oh boy, here we go. Whale territory, or aka the broken territory. When Shilonen is in the Night Soul's blessing state, when she sprints, leaps, or uses normal or plunging attacks, she will gain imperishable Night's blessing, ignoring the limitations of her Night Soul's blessing state and increasing the damage dealt by her normal attacks and plunging attacks for five seconds. 
uh, uh, busted. Uh, do I really need to say anything else? So, basically, um, uh, she just gets more, uh, she just gets more, she just gets, like, more stuff. She, she ignores her limitations on her Night Soul Blessing. This means that she gets to, um, stay there. Yeah, she gets to stay in her Night Soul Blessing. Um, they explain it here, I think. Yeah, her Night Soul's Blessing time limit cooldown will be paused. This means that you're just gonna be in her Night Soul Blessing all the time. Um, she lands Night Soul points, Felicigen, and Stamina will not decrease when her Night Soul points reach the maximum. Her Night Soul's Blessing state will not end either. This means that you're gonna be forever in your Rollerblade mode. Yep. She'll then will deal 300% of her defense as increased normal or plunging attack damage while in the Night Soul's uh, Blessing state. She heals the right party members for 120% of her defense every 1.5 seconds. She can gain one Imperishable Knight's Blessing once every 15 seconds. Um... That's... that's busted. Uh, so this means that she becomes a main DPS. That's all this really is. She becomes a main DPS. So, if you really do want a main DPS, she low nen, uh, get her C6. Uh, you won't be disappointed. But, um, that's basically she low nen. Um, I will say, uh, she is one of the most busted, uh, characters in the game. So, uh, yeah. Um, I would say that she ranks equally towards Kazuha. That's how good she is. She literally decreases res. Uh, for elemental uh, damage. If you have her weapon, she increases damage in general um, for all your party members. Um, she gets a lot of buffs too. And if you do, and I mean you do go for her constellations, uh, she'll become the best supporter in the game. Uh, besides Farina, of course. But yeah, um, she's up there with one of the best supporters in the game, I would say. And you don't even need her weapon to be good. You don't even need her weapon. You can just literally give her the craftable weapon and she becomes good. So yeah. Well anyways, uh, if you do guys enjoy this test run video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do want to support the channel. Um, supporting the channel really does mean a lot to me if you do do that. Uh, keeps me motivated in making more videos and pumping out content for you guys. So again, if you do guys uh, support the channel, again, thank you guys so much for doing so. It really does mean a lot. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Um, and as for the uh, comments down below, what do you think of Shilonen? You think she's broken? You think she's not? You think, uh, well, do you disagree with my opinions or do you agree that Shilonen is one of the best supporters in the game? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching this uh, Shilonen test run video and I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.